Coastal ecosystems are changing rapidly in response to ocean warming, extreme events, and other disturbances. But to understand future changes in marine life, we need to document what biodiversity is currently present. And even here in California, where our shorelines have been studied for many years, the distribution of many marine invertebrates is still poorly known. Therefore, there is a critical need for assessments of biodiversity along our coast, which will provide scientists and managers with baseline data to evaluate future changes. One example of a group of marine animals that we know surprisingly little about is nemertines, or ribbon worms. These unusual worms often have striking coloration and a long, thin body without segments. Hi, my name is Maddie Fry, and I'm an undergraduate student at UC Davis studying the diversity of nemertines on the Bodega Marine Reserve, which is part of the UC Reserve System. Nemertines haven't received very much attention in California since they were studied here nearly 100 years ago by a zoologist named Wesley Coe. After learning about some of these nemertines only from drawings in old books, it has been really exciting to find some of these species in real life. Because these animals have been so understudied, there are a ton of unanswered questions about their biology. The goal of my project is to record as many species as possible in the Bodega Marine Reserve. To perform this work, we spend a lot of time in the field during low tides. We have been visiting rocky shores, sandy beaches, and mud flats. We even had some colleagues dive to collect kelp holdfasts. We can find some of the larger ribbon worms by looking carefully in the field. We have also collected many types of habitat. I then sort through these samples in the lab to find nemertines hiding in the different materials. Some can be as small as just a few millimeters long. Then we take photos and video to document the worms and preserve the specimens to sequence their DNA. So far we have identified nearly 40 species in the Bodega Marine Reserve and surrounding areas, including several species that are new to science. I discovered one of these undescribed species right in the Marine Lab's backyard, Horseshoe Cove. This nemertine lives in coarse sand on beaches. It's pretty incredible that the Bodega Marine Lab has been here for over 50 years and this nemertine has gone unnoticed for that entire time. The importance of natural reserves and characterizing biodiversity can't be understated in this time of rapid environmental change. Until we understand the ecosystems around us, we can't tell when and how they are being affected by climate change. This project has shown me how much exploration of marine diversity remains to be done.